Welcome to Rosie's Tips. So today we're going to be doing sushi. Sushi with uh, nori uh, sheets. So nori is basically a toasted uh, seaweed. So, but it is organic and they test it for uh, metals to make sure that there's no metals in it. So we're going to be doing um, sushi with nori sheets. And my last video, I actually made sushis with uh, cucumbers, but this one's going to be a little bit more improved and a little bit better. And here it is. If you can see, let me show you guys what it looks like. Just like that beautiful sushi with the cauliflower rice and the nori sheets. And um, also, for those of you who just want it completely raw, since the nori sheets are slightly toasted, this is um, another way you could eat it as well, just wrapped around with zucchini. And I'm gonna show you guys the whole process. And we're gonna start with the rice. Now, the rice is just basically a bunch of cut up uh, cauliflower like this. You're gonna get your cauliflower and you're gonna just cut it up in pieces. And you're gonna need a nut milk uh, bag so make sure you have your nut bag with you and we're going to start by putting the pieces into the food processor and then we're going to put some salt. We're going to add some pink Himalaya salt, just about, I would say about a um, teaspoon and this is half a cauliflower because I did the other half earlier. I just left this half so I could show you guys how to make the rice. I have. On my last sushi video, I have rice, but it would release a lot of uh, liquid from that. Uh, but I learned that if I uh, strain it with the nut milk bag, it gets rid of all that um, fluid. So if you do make my recipe from the past, make sure you just uh, strain it with the nut, nut milk bag, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pulse the, all the cauliflower. So this is what it looks like. It looks like white puffy rice. Just like that. Really nice. So the next step is we're going to get our nut milk bag like this. If you don't have one or on Amazon, they're really inexpensive and I use them a lot for my almond milk, uh, my nut butter, nut milks, I'm sorry, and also for my green juice when I don't want to use my juicer. I just blend everything in the blender and I use the nut milk bag. Okay, so once you just like this and you're going to start straining your cauliflower. Let me show you guys. And then strain it again. There we go. So now what you do is you put it in a bowl. So I did this. I was doing this earlier. So once it's in the bowl, clean my mess here. You're gonna need a plate. Your rice is ready. And what I have over here, let me show you guys. I have uh, little slices of avocado. I have um, little romaine lettuce. What I did is I just cut the center out, the stem of the baby romaine lettuce, and I have the two little sides, and I have um, sliced sweet peppers. I have long zucchini that I did in my heart peeler. I mandolated it, carrots, and green onions, the little uh, the scallion onions. So let me show you guys how I did the zucchini before I start assembling. So I got a, I got my heart peeler. I used to use the big mandolin. If you see my other uh, older videos, I used to use the mandolin until I bought the heart peeler. Now, this is a great investment if you're eating raw. It's only about, I'd say $19.99 plus shipping and handling and taxes online. I have it on my video my favorite uh, tools for prepping food raw. So watch that and I have the link there and I'll put the link as well under this one so you guys could order it. Great investment. 
So all you do is get your zucchini. As you see, I could I already used most of this. And you just go like this down the mandolin and you get your long strips like this. So I'm at the bottom of my uh at the end of it. <laughs> so it's uh, I'm already done with most of that. And you're gonna get a nori sheet. So you can find, I get these at uh, Whole Foods, right where I get my spring rolls. And the nori sheet is gonna have, one side is gonna be very uh, smooth and shiny. The other one's gonna be a little coarse and grainy. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the coarse grainy side up and you're gonna put it just like that on your plate. And then first thing you're gonna do is put the rice and when we put the rice down, it's going to basically cover the whole nori sheet. But you're going to leave about, I would say, a quarter of an inch on each side, on the sides, and half an inch on the ends. And I'll show you guys how I'm going to do. It looks just like that. While I'm here, let me grab one. Excuse me. One of my knives that I'm going to use. So put that aside. So now what you're going to do is you're going to put the zucchini and I'll show you that. You're going to lay the zucchini right across the, the rice. The reason for that is that the zucchini is going to hold the rice in place and it's going to keep the rice between, the rice is going to be between the zucchini and the nori sheet. So what I'm laid over the rice like this and now we're going to put the lettuce. Just like that. So you can just go put the lettuce on one end like this. Now you're going to put all the other stuff. I'm going to put my sweet peppers and remember you can put anything you want in it. I'm putting sweet peppers, carrots. Um, onions just whatever you want it doesn't have to be what I'm putting you guys could put anything you want into your um, sushi if you eat um, cooked foods you could also put shrimp and seafood in it as well now once you're done with that on the avocado don't forget that just like that and I'm gonna roll it so tie it at the end and I'll show you guys how so carefully so you want it to be snug you don't want it to be loose but at the same time you don't want to squeeze too tight because you don't want to tear up your nori sheets now I'm gonna stick my fingers in the water and I'm gonna slide it along the edges of the nori sheet Once I roll it to the end like this, I lift and pull back towards me and I let it sit a little bit. So here you go, like a burrito. Okay, so that's all done. Now what you want to do when you do these, you do not want to cut them in very tiny little pieces. You want to get a knife and I use that knives the one you usually use for breads when you cut breads and you're gonna cut it about I would say two and a half inches or two inches right about there and you're gonna be very careful the way I cut it I go forward and back and forward but I as I go forward I'm cutting I'm not cutting this when I'm bringing the knife let me cut one more and then I'll let them sit That one came out perfect. <laughs> All right, so let me put this aside. Now I'm going to show you guys how to make the zucchini one, just with the one with how you could do them just with the zucchini. So you're going to get uh, about two pieces of um, 
zucchini and you're gonna overlap them like this side by side you're gonna lay them down and I had a larger pieces so it was a little bit easier no I don't need three just two Let me see. okay so now we're gonna put rice right along the whole length of the zucchini and I'll show you guys it. I mean I know you can't see because I'm working down here but I'll show you guys what it looks like and of course as I'm working here I'm drinking my um, green juice for the day <laughs> all right guys so just like that so you put the rice along the whole zucchini now you're gonna put the lettuce because the lettuce is what's gonna hold it in there okay once the lettuce is in there you're gonna get little pieces make sure the pieces are I cut them in half so they don't they're not too thick because the zucchini it's very narrow the carrots as well and the avocado cut the piece in half okay now we're gonna roll it oh my onion can't forget my little onion love these onions oh a little bit of salt <laughs> so and we're gonna start rolling And what you're going to do is get the knife and just cut any of the veggies that are sticking out at the end. And let's see, show you guys what that looks like. Just like that. The only thing is that these are not going to stay rolled up. So immediately you turn it around and you have to lay them down on your plate. Like this and you're gonna be able to eat them um i okay guys i'm about to taste the finished product so here is the veggie ones the zucchini wraps and uh what i went ahead and i did is a with the leftovers pieces of zucchini i put them in the vitamix with garlic onion um parsley a little bit of lemon juice himalaya salt and i just made a little sauce so you could just put any type of veggie make yourself a little sauce and here we go i'm gonna go ahead and taste it so let's see just like that dip it in the sauce Mmm, <laughs> yummy. That's delicious, guys. Mmm. I think I'm liking the zucchini better than the nori. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. I'm gonna try the nori now. So, before I try this, I forgot to tell you guys that nori. It's full of vitamins, vitamin A, it has um, calcium, iron, and a bunch of minerals that our body needs. So make sure that if you're not 100% raw, if you're only like 80 like me, don't hesitate to use uh, nori. Nori is a good thing to use. Okay, so now we're, I'm going to go ahead and try the nori with a little bit of tamari sauce that I put in the middle. Wow, yummy. That is delicious, guys. Mmm, I don't know. I don't know which one tastes better. They're both delicious. Anyways, you guys, 
don't hesitate to try this recipe it is absolutely delicious if you guys want to have sushi for dinner this is a great idea i hope you guys like my video if you like it give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll continue to bring more great ideas for you guys to eat your veggies and fruits in the raw form and also please subscribe to my um facebook because i tend i always put uh pictures of what i eat and daily in blogs on nutrition and all kinds of great information and i'll leave the link below for the heart peeler as well and thank you guys once again for your support and for watching me bye bye